Hello everyone, welcome to Mentor Spool. My name is Ankit and today in this video, I'll be covering uh, a brief about a BTP alert notification service. Okay, so let's quickly understand what this service all about. So guys, the, this is a very important, very uh, versatile service available on BTP. The, the work, what it does is, uh, there could be a, a source system. It could be any application running on BTP or any pre-delivered application uh, provided by SAP or, you know, sub account. So there are a lot of events happens, you know, in these systems. Okay. And if you want a service to just be able to send some notification uh, on the condition that there is some event happens. Okay. So in those cases, uh, the alert notification service helps you to deliver notification for those, those events to different channels, maybe Microsoft Teams, or you wanted to get an email in your mailbox, or you want to raise a service now support ticket, right? I will take an example and try to help you understand this. So let's say in integration shoot, the integration developers have developed a, a integration flow. And uh, one of the iFlow in that integration, uh, you know, architecture uh, got failed. And it might be, a, you know, a very critical iFlow, you know, and you want uh, if this iFlow gets sales there should be a event triggered uh, to any of these channels, right? So what happens is you have to, in this case, then integration shoot would be a, a source of event and you have to uh, integrate with your alert notification service. And in alert notification service, definitely you will have to uh, uh, create a condition for that particular event, okay? And uh, also you'll have to create some actions, okay? So you'll create action it will create a condition and then there will be a subscription will be created which actually will uh, send the notification to the target system so while you'll create the subscription you will uh, select uh, this subscription should send maybe an email to microsoft teams or should we send to email or just send a notification to microsoft teams channel if a particular condition happens and uh, on that condition this action should be performed OK, so this is uh, one of the use cases, uh, I would say, but there are there could be hundreds of use cases. Maybe there is a custom application you have deployed and you just want to monitor a particular event happening this and that application. Those all you can achieve, right? So let's go and just have a quick look on the uh, alert notification service, what we have. OK, so normally this is the interface of alert notification service. Let's say if you wanted to uh, do uh, provide this notification service facility to one of the application you have deployed in your Cloud Foundry, when you can integrate, you can bind those applications, right? Even for any sub account, if there is some events you wanted to send alerts, like if a user gets created or a, a user gets any specific roles, then uh, a alert should be sent to uh, the team, right? Maybe security team, right? So to be able to achieve that, I just clearly mentioned that you have to design some conditions, right? So you have to create some conditions. Maybe if there is an event happened, which starts with this string, right? Uh, and there could be multiple, uh, you know, ways how you can match the uh, the event, right? Those you have to define here. And then the actions uh, which you want to perform, okay? Uh, so if I go into action sections, so maybe you want to send a, a notification to Microsoft Teams channel, or you just wanted to store this alert and wanted to pull all the records, you know, later, or you want to just send an email uh, to any any target mailbox, right? Maybe support uh, mailbox, or you have shared mailbox. Anything you can imagine of, you know, you can you can do here, right? And then uh, uh, the subscription actually will create will actually deliver the notification, but the subscription always will keep what uh, you know notification to be sent in what condition and what action to be taken so these subscription when you create you'll have to select uh, these two uh, things and then the subscription will act accordingly right so like uh, i would like to just quickly show you in the uh, in the teams if i just show you teams channel so i have actually 
created a subscription where my subscription sends a notification to this team's channel like when i created this connection you know i really got a message here that uh, you know i have set up this connection so that any incoming web uh, you know uh, which is coming from alert notification service will be notified here in this channel and everyone who is a part of this channel uh, will get notification right so you can integrate uh, these different channels with your alert notification service and your uh, your your notification will be delivered here right so it's just a quick brief here but yeah if you wanted to learn this in detail uh, you want to see all the configuration how i'm going to how i can integrate with any uh, custom application running on a btp how i can integrate maybe with the integration shoot or even how i can integrate with maybe uh, ci cd where maybe uh, devops people have uh, you know triggered a automated deployment and the deployment got um, gets failed right then uh, definitely in, there should be notification to send to the uh, team so that they can take corrective measures so maybe then that time we have to integrate this alert notification service with ci cd which is a btp devops service right so to understand it more uh, you can reach out to us and uh, uh, you know uh, and can enroll in our uh, full time training uh, to get more details on this just to kick view here uh, so uh, we provide BTP administration training and uh, if I say BTP security, identity and access management, platform security, application security, then identity and access governance uh, for BTP cloud and on-premise application using IAG, BTP DevOps. Uh, in this we cover uh, DevOps overview and you know, uh, general overview, then BTP overview, introduction to BTP DevOps, then version control uh, system and BTP. CI/CD, uh, CI/CD service, then uh, BTP transport management service, then BTP deployment service, then BTP DevOps monitoring with application logging service, right? So it's complete end-to-end -end DevOps course. And uh, definitely even in BPT, BTP administration training, we teach you a bit about how you will set up this. This is more into DevOps, but in admin training also, we cover this transport management and CI/CD things to just uh, because you as an administrator will set up this then then devops team will use these tools you know for further configuration whatever they want and then uh, other courses like btp development with cap where we're using node or java btp development wrap using a web programming a app on a cloud and btp extension shoot maybe developing the customization in for your on-premise system or btp cloud systems and an integration shoot which where we'll be covering iflows api management integration advisor and uh, event mess trading partner management and all those topics right and then btp build process automation and uh, build apps using this you can develop a full-fledged application without writing a code so it is a low code no code application development course and then btp ai and also signaview and some more tools on B other courses on btp like sac on btp data warehouse cloud you know all those courses so if you want you are interested in that you can reach out to me i just wanted to give you a quick view normally how our training goes so if you see this is a um, course for BTP administration, uh, which we started on 6th of uh, January uh, this year. And uh, there uh, we already have completed around um, seven to eight, eight sessions and then more two more sessions are still pending. So normally when session starts, it's just this. And then uh, as, as soon as sessions gets completed every day, you get recording for that session and the documentation for that session, assignments for that day, again for day two, uh, radio and assignments, day three, video and then document and then assignments two assignments for day three again day four video assignments and uh, the document and again so similarly for each day you get assignment and the content and the video and everything which you have to practice and do okay so like this we conduct our training sessions okay and if you wanted to learn more about a lot of uh, bdp services uh, then definitely uh, you can go and uh, you know uh, subscribe our uh, uh, channel yeah so there are a lot of videos we have already uh, with it to btp or other recipe courses which you can go and refer and uh, try enhancing your skill apart from this alert notification service uh, you can go and find the video for audit and log management service okay and then uh, if you want to learn more about transport management service uh, 
CI CD services for DevOps and uh, application logging service and the BTP DevOps end to end uh, how the DevOps cycle works on BTP, what all different uh, services are involved in that, you know, BTP autoscaler service and then uh, BTP identity provisioning service and then identity authentication service and then cloud identity services and then, uh, you know, connectivity service, destination service and uh, build work zone service or many more, right? So if I wanted to just have a good uh, brief understanding of these, please go ahead and check other videos in, it, in in our channel and subscribe our channel so that whenever new videos we are uploading for new BTP services, other BTP services, you get notification and you can go ahead and learn about these. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, so thanks for watching and please go ahead and subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Bye-bye.